Okay, let me just make sure everything's plugged in. Then I'm a little further away. Not that you have to yell, but um, maybe talk a little bit louder. Sure. Um, okay, everything's on, plugged in, on, recording. Okay, whenever you're ready. Okay, we rolling? We're rolling. Okay, hi, welcome everyone. I'm Larissa, I'm one of the registered dietitians here at Conway Medical Center. And happy Valentine's Day. We're going to make a delicious dessert today. Maybe you're planning to eat at home and you want to make something yummy for dessert for your Valentine's Day meal. Or maybe you're just looking for something sweet to eat any time of day um, that's a little bit healthier. So I'm going to make a chocolate cheesecake, but it has a special ingredient. Bear with me here, don't turn me off yet. The main ingredient in this cheesecake is tofu. Now, if you know regular cheesecake, it's loaded with lots of fat from cream cheese, sometimes sour cream, and it's not always the healthiest thing to eat. So in place of all that cheese, we're using tofu. Tofu is a soy-based product, um, and if you've ever had it, it tastes like nothing, <laughs> which makes it a perfect vehicle for this cheesecake because it absorbs any of the flavors of anything that you put in there. So we're starting with a pound of silken tofu that we've just diced up just so it makes it easier in the food processor or the blender. And then I've melted some delicious dark chocolate. Dark chocolate has natural antioxidant, uh, anti antioxidants in it, so it does have some health benefits to it too. Um, and if you wanna make this entirely vegan, you can use a vegan chocolate in here. Um, and it's also great for anyone that's maybe lactose intolerant, then they can use this as an alternative to regular cheesecake as well. So we'll get that all in there. And you know I'm licking this as soon as the camera's off. <laughs> and I have a little bit of um, vanilla, vanilla extract, and a couple tablespoons of coffee. So just save some coffee left over from your morning coffee. Of coffee, it won't taste like it in here. It just sort of enhances that chocolatey flavor by having a little bit of that coffee hint in there. You can leave it at that. That could be all of the ingredients that you need in here. Or you can add a little bit of sweetener. So I have some honey here, but you could use honey or maple syrup if you just want a little bit extra sweetness to it if you have a real sweet tooth. And that's it. So we put the cover on the blender. And we'll see if it turns on because I can never get this thing to work. till it's smooth and then you put it into a graham cracker crust you can make your own graham cracker crust or you can just buy one in the store that's what I did um, and you pour it in and it is so smooth once it's been in the refrigerator for at least a couple hours it's great if you do it ahead of time and leave it overnight and it will cut fantastic nice and smooth we're gonna decorate it a little bit with some sugar-free fat-free whipped topping you can really make it look special for your Valentine's Day meal. And like I said, this is great even if you don't want it for Valentine's Day because it is so healthy. It has very little fat in it. The only fat that's in this is from the chocolate chips. And I like to think it's offset by all those healthy pro properties of the antioxidants in the dark chocolate. You could even use a chocolate graham cracker crust if you really want to make it doubly chocolate. And I'm just going to garnish with some fruit, with some strawberries to make it look really pretty. And that's all it is. How easy was that, right? It's like four ingredients. It whips up in no time. You don't have to bake it in the oven. Sometimes those cheesecakes take quite a while to bake and then sit and you got to do a water bath and make sure it doesn't crack and don't have to worry about any of that with this one. And here you have a beautiful chocolate cheesecake. <laughs> 